Hello YouTubers! Guess what today is? Today is Saturday <clears throat> and Saturday means demolition day on the Rancho de Rosie and Jen and Rosie will be swinging the hammer of the gods right here. What have you been drinking today? What? <laughs> You already got your demolition yeah, uniform right, on, my know. All you need <laughs> is your helmet. I'm YouTube as you know, <laughs> trying to get this upload done, so have a lot of fun today. She's going to tell you what's on schedule. That's right, so this is a 4.5 kilogram, 10 pound hammer with fiberglass <laughs> handle because we have seen people that did inappropriately to try to dismantle tops and they broke three wooden uh, sticks that are attached to the hammer <laughs> the hammer handles I guess is what they call it <clears throat> anyways I think we're gonna be taking out the sink first and then the toilet and then we are going to have this baby right here to get the tub out. So that's going to be pretty interesting. <clears throat> so, we will of course share this adventure with y'all. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Okay, so there's a rouser girl, and she just took out uh, the sink. So now we can get cracking on taking this drywall off here. Well. Okay, so anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah, I've been doing stunts. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, so Rosie Girl has taken the sink out. Ta -da! This is actually the, the holder here where they just s set it on, like a hanger type of thing. So that's what that looks like. So there's actually a hanger here with it. Yeah, it was, it was actually sink resting on that. That's cool. On. Okay, that makes me feel a little better not. So I don't want to snap anything off, but I want to make sure these are good and tight. I don't want water leaking all over. Right, because you can see that's where they're accomplished now. This one was drizzling, yeah, driven. it's okay now. And I put the bucket under there. Yeah. The we can now yeah. take that bucket away. So that's good. So uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll address the uh, address the toilet. Okay, that will be the next thing we do. Let me put these supports outside. Sweet. He's kind of got some use to him, so. Yeah, we can always okay. use them as base. Sort of retrofitted, yeah, like nunchucks and all that kind that's of stuff. That's right. Or you could have one and we have a sword fight. And that's that. right. It's how I have a sword and you don't, I'll let you. <laughs> well, we can do an Eskrima. There we go. Eskrima right. fight. I like to get sound effects too. That's well, right. shit, like in Hollywood. Okay. Chisel and bust them. Off. Here you can see Rosie Girl is working on the toilet. Ooh. Yeah, we got everything Sit. done. We got the water turned off. We got the disconnect on over here. The problem we have is these hold down bolts for the flange. You know, you have a wax ring and then you have a flange that the uh, toilet <clears throat> sits on and then you screw it on with the uh, two nuts. But unfortunately, these nuts are so badly uh, corroded. It, uh, I'm going to try to just take the um, pair of vice grips and just put them on top and just rock it back and forth and maybe that uh, rusty stuff will be so crappy it'll just snap yeah. right off, lift it off and uh, we're probably going to put a new flange down anyway because this, uh, you know, there's been obviously water intrusion and everything else in here so okay I'm going to go out and get the uh, vice grips and do it. Sweet. Meanwhile you can see here I already got this here done. <clears throat> I got the uh, mount from the uh, sink taken off. 
and I uh, had to actually take a wrench with a proper size nut to fit over the square bolt head and uh, was able to get those out and uh, pull all the nails out so as soon as she gets the toilet out I'm going to remove this drywall I would like to get all this crap out, the dirt out in the process while we are working <clears throat> that way once we have uh, the stool and the tub and everything out uh, all the drywall and everything is out at the same time so no more really dirty stuff has to come out so woo so now we're off to the next project what are you doing? Yeah. eat breakfast 10 o'clock we're making good progress show everybody what the hell we do awesome toilet came around easy sink Right to get onto the main right now. Oops, I realized it took the toilet out. Mama Sita cleaned up behind, took the drywall off, swept and cleaned. Because I enjoy uh, keeping everything cleaned up right away, otherwise, it drags all over the house. I guess I could still use that hole <laughs> so. over there. Yeah, you can drop a load there. <laughs> drop a load or it's all um, it's all about much, uh, you know, like they uh, say on the shooting range, stance and aim. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. So I guess at night time I can still creep in and uh that's do right. that, so. that right, little well, okay, good. I'm excited. Are you excited? <clears throat> I'm awesome. very excited. So now the crown piece is going to happen, that's the tub. So we'll get to that next. Okay, so here you see the rosy girl dismantling the uh, vent, vent from the tub. From the tub. Yeah. Helps equalize the air pressure so that the uh, water drains properly. So yeah, we want to remove that. We don't want to break any plumbing up. That's my big fear here. Like we have to undo this is really high risk zone because some of these pipes are so rusty here. Alright, so that's out now be disconnected so shouldn't have any problem really lifting that up it's, uh, that's kind of screwed for the, from the bottom but we'll break it up you know we'll worry about right. I might just leave one piece in there with the right so, so what the guy did he left that kind of around there and then he unscrewed it and, and popped it off what did he do he just uh, hammered around it and left like a little bit around yeah, that. Yeah, and then we'll just take it and off. And then took exactly that as a piece off. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we do. So that's right. what we do. That's what we do. That's what I do. All right. That's what right. you do too. So you got your safety glasses on. I'm going to get mine. Yeah. It's imperative when you do this kind of work. Just as it is with when we did the porcelain paneling here. First of all, the, the tub is porcelain coated. That's already the first issue. And yeah, Mama is wearing shoes again. You want to wear shoes. You want to wear safety glasses. Uh, these porcelain thing uh, coat here can chip uh, the, the metal here. The brass steel will chip. And if you get that into your eyes, you're finished finished and you don't want that so I'm an innocent bystander and even I am wearing <laughs> safety goggles so alrighty so we'll now let Rosie go come in glasses on. Uh, I'll have her yeah safety glasses and yeah, shoes I can't find my big mofo okay let me go and get him like when I lose shit she always knows where everything is she's the one that tells me she doesn't have a good memory Okay, so <clears throat> this whole hammering out situation did not work out because this is not a cast iron tub, it's some kind of a steel tub. It does not break, so we decided to cut the tub in the ha middle here, halfway through, and then we can take out the tub in two sections. It should be light enough to where we can take out one half at a time. Yeah. So, as you can see, Rosie already cut on the outside and she's already going to the inside halfway through. 
So she's going to cut, 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 cut through there. And then we will be back and then we will show you how to... How it's chooching. How it's chooching, yeah. See if we can successfully remove this part of the... This half of the top. And the reason why I think it makes sense to just cut it in the middle is it'll be light enough to carry half a tub. So you want to like do the least amount of cutting as possible because cutting this is not easy with the sawzall. sawzall. It's not easy so you want to like do this with the least amount of cutting which is basically just one cut in here all the way across the top so stay tuned. Well you still need to cut the front part down here. Yeah. Yeah, then you can get this piece off. Can we get this piece off? Oh, the insert. I'm not, I'm not sure how far that goes. That wood block is right there. No, it's not. It's okay. Yeah, I put it next to it so you can cut through that. And get the longer blade. So she got short blades and that went through like butter. Like butter. Like butter. So we got the longer blade. Cut it down um, there. I put a block right under there, so I didn't know she was gonna have the short blade. So now we're gonna have to put a long blade in and get that very last piece. Now these are all down there cut. These are all shorty blades. So we have to do the best we can. Cut all the way through, and this entire section is moving now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that so, in. Or else will try to get her pulled out. There's half a tub you ordered, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's right. Put that up so it'll go. That will go good with the stool that's out there. Oh, the Nor's where. So there Norris we got down. it. Half Norris a tub. Nor's down, Pennsylvania. I think I'm so excited I just pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, in case it goes forward. This thing is none too stable. Say bye bye. We'll be back with the other half. My turn. Carrying this from now. Not even a connection has probably been leaking down there. Oh, that just forever. almost looks like yeah. There's a connection there. Yeah. We right gotta be careful. This is leaking there. What? Oh, there is. Yeah. Must have hit that side. Uh, there's the deal. But that is just like when in deep water we. Uh, Went under the house and the pipe that's supposed to connect to the tub was next to the tub. Looks like just the same thing so on the water. So what was happening? It was just draining to the ground? It just there? would go on the ground, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well, right, so well. anyway, so I'm going to cut it here for this right yeah. now. Cut that. And uh, I'm going to grab the other camera. Thank you, honey. So, smile, cheese. Cheese. Alright, so we are done. Check out. Where the rosy goat standing. Uh, we got that all the way down to the subfloor in here. A new shower stall here. And we actually already took the first layer of linoleum off, and it smells like a mofo because the water leakage from the top over there and some leakage from the stool went underneath between this linoleum and the linoleum was on top. So we can let this air out with the door closed. Yeah, and I'm gonna have and, uh, to do some. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some subfloor work here because uh, 50, uh, 50 years, almost fifty years of water intrusion and using showers and baths and sinks and toilets has obviously done uh, quite a bit of damage to some of the subfloor. 
here, but uh, it's really not going to be that big of a deal to uh, to put it down. Just got to work it in there, and it'll be uh, stronger. Never go under. Put some more center supports in there if we need, and we will be uh, good to go for a nice strong bathroom. You don't want to just cover stuff up and throw new stuff on top. You've got to address some of the issues below. Because in any bathroom or any kitchen, you expect to see some rot where water has escaped notice and gone down over the years. So that's when the real fun begins, when we start getting down there and we're putting stuff together instead of uh, demoing things. Right. So it's built from the ground up, right? The floor up. So that's what we're going to do. Fun day today. Turned out better than I thought when I first hit that, <laughs> hit that tub with all my force with that sledgehammer. And that thing just dented and laughed at me. <laughs> you know, I said, oh shit, here we go. Two chicks with a heavy ass tub to get out. We got that Sawzo out though and uh, got some new blades and that thing just cut through that like butter and we were done before noon today. Three hours we removed a sink, a toilet, and a uh, tub. And I'm getting ready to attack the uh, subfloor here. So for me, thanks for being on the uh, channel with uh, Jen and Rosie Reality TV. It's been a trip as usual.